In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom GPT with best practices in under five minutes. So be sure to stick around for the full video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan. And the reality here is that AI is going to replace millions of marketers and content creators, but it doesn't have to be you. And if you want to stay ahead, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. This includes my favorite AI tools, prompts, templates, and more. You can get my free guide in the video description or pin comment below. So if you've never used custom GPTs, these are customized versions of ChatGPT that improve efficiency and improve the outputs for a specific task. And in order to create custom GPTs, you must be a paid subscriber of ChatGPT. This could be on Plus, Pro, Teams, and more. And there are several ways you can create custom GPTs. You can create them from scratch. You can repurpose an existing custom GPT into your own. You can turn long chats into custom GPTs and other methods that I provide inside my community in the AI prompts database. It's only a dollar to join. I'll leave that link in the description below as well. So I'm gonna create a custom GPT from scratch. And in this example, I'm using ChatGPT Plus and I'm going to create a GPT to help me repurpose YouTube videos into email newsletters. As a marketer and content creator, generating email newsletters is a very important task for me. So I wanna create a GPT to not only improve my efficiency, but just help improve my outputs in general. So what you can do from the home screen of ChatGPT, click your icon on the top right, Click My GPTs. It'll take you to a screen that looks like this. Click Create a GPT. Now we're going to be on the setup screen. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to do Email GPT. I already had something ready to go here. So for the description, I'm going to do Repurpose YouTube videos to email newsletters in my writing style. Now for the instructions, I had these ready to go as well. But these are one of the most important elements of a custom GPT. I'm going to copy this paste it in my instructions, just a few call outs here. So I'm giving it actual data of some of my email subject line open rates. I'm giving it an actual example of what an email that I wrote looks like with the formatting, the writing style, and you can make this as detailed as possible. I can't get into all the weeds in this short tutorial, but just make sure that your instructions are very detailed. Next, what I'm gonna do is upload knowledge. I'm gonna click upload files. And I had a folder ready to go for this tutorial as well called custom GPT files. So what I'm going to upload here are actual examples of my previous email newsletters in addition to my LinkedIn profile, a writing sample of just my written bio, common AI words and phrases to avoid. So delve, robust, right? All those common chat GPT words and phrases. We don't want those in our email outputs. Uh, also other exam, just a lot of examples here of my email newsletters that I want to train on. It's very important that you upload as many relevant examples in the knowledge as possible. And I'd recommend adding one conversation starter. So mine is when I provide a topic in a YouTube video transcript, generate an email newsletter using the provided instructions. You'll see on the right hand side, that's my conversation starter. You can generate an image with Dolly. That's what I just did very quickly. For capabilities, I would leave all of these on except for code interpreter, unless you're doing something coding related. But for email newsletter generation, that's not coding related. So I'm gonna leave that off. Don't worry about actions. You don't need to get into that. Then all you need to do is click create and you can share it with someone. You can add it to the GPT store or you can make it private. I'm just gonna leave it at this, click save and that's it. You've successfully created a custom GPT in less than five minutes. If you made it through this quick tutorial, I appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, also leave me a comment below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.